Washington football fanatics or maniacs or fans or whatever you want to call yourselves. Hey, I uh, just want to do this video real quick for you. Um, so I was thinking about this last night. Actually, I was thinking about this after I did the video yesterday. Uh, but I was thinking about Ryan Fitzpatrick and how different would this season look had Ryan Fitzpatrick not gotten injured in that first game. Now, we can go back to preseason and see that you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick didn't have the greatest of preseason. I mean, if you look at the the starters in preseason, I don't think they even scored any points. Maybe, uh, maybe they had like a field goal drive here and there, but... You know, they didn't really look very impressive, which, of course, then again, um, you know, it's preseason, so you're not always going to be able to, um, well, you know, preseason, it's, it's vanilla offense, so you're not necessarily game planning or anything like that. Um, but, you know, it does make me wonder what would have happened if, Ryan Fitzpatrick had not gotten hurt in that first game uh, because we all know, you know, Fitzpatrick is the guy who has been in the league for, what is it, uh, 17, 18 seasons, maybe. Um, you know, veteran quarterback actually looks like he has been getting better as he has gotten older, you know, as he's gotten more years in the NFL and so I wasn't too worried actually as far as his performance in preseason I figured if anything it would take him probably a game or two to really get into the groove but having said all of that had Ryan Fitzpatrick not gotten um, hurt I really do believe that we would have won a couple of games at least uh, more than what we have right now. Um, certainly there were games that I felt the Washington football team had in hand and they just shot themselves in the foot. Now, we can't blame Taylor Heineke for that, uh, per se, but there were plays that Taylor Heineke didn't make that possibly Ryan Fitzpatrick would have made and could have possibly been the difference. Now, you know, it's probably no sense in talking about would have, could have, should have, but, you know, it does make you wonder uh, because the fans are so up in arms in regards to how this season has gone, um, what would things be like with the fans if, let's say, the, the Washington football team right now uh, was four and four? instead of six or two and six uh, four and four looks a lot better than two and six i mean it's it's 500 it's not a losing record and you're you're still very much in the thick of things and uh you know like i said we would have probably chances are we would have picked up another win or two with brian fitzpatrick i think ron rivera would certainly still have some fans on the side um you know we would not be looking at this season nearly as bad as what we are right now but certainly what we are right now is a two and 16 uh, with a quarterback who just doesn't have a lot of experience in the nfl um, has played his guts out uh joe gibbs reference uh but you know, just, he's not the guy. He really is not the guy. I love him to death. Uh, Taylor Heineke, I think he's got a great story, but he is just not the guy to lead this team. And I think Ryan Fitzpatrick would have done better. Uh, you know, veteran quarterback who still has the arm, um, still would have pushed this team down the field. Uh, you know, yeah, I, I really think things would have been a lot different despite the slow start with the defense. Probably would have had some games where it was a kind of an offensive shootout because the defense just really underperformed in the first 
you know, a few games and they still have not gotten back to full potential in my opinion. So now that of course Ryan Fitzpatrick I think he still has not yet gotten another MRI on that hip. With all intents and purposes, he's probably not going to see the field again this season. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking if if you're looking at this team at two and seven or even two and eight, you know, in the next couple of weeks. Do you really want to put Ryan Fitzpatrick back on the field, even if he's ready? Are you really still going to have, uh, you know, a chance at the playoffs? I, I really doubt you are. Even if you won the rest of your games and you ended the season at 9-8, and eight, that's probably not going to be enough to get you into the playoffs. And then, of course, yeah, you look at, you know, draft standings and it's going to make it even more difficult to be able to be in a position to draft uh, whatever quarterback is going to be the the quarterback um, in this year's draft. So, you know, honestly, at this point, you shut Ryan Fitzpatrick down. Uh, you continue with Taylor Heineke. No reason, honestly, to even put Kyle Allen in there. Um, I would say this, I would probably change my mind if somehow Washington is able to pull off the upset against Tampa Bay this weekend. If they're able to pull off the upset against Tom Brady and the Bucks, okay, then I'm going to press pause on the, uh, you know, uh, forgetting the rest of the season and say, okay, well, you, you beat Tom Brady. Now you can possibly... You, know, you still have somewhat of a chance. You know, Dallas might be starting to slip a bit after their performance with uh, the Denver Broncos this past weekend. Who knows? Uh, you know, they may not be the clear-cut NFC East champions. So, honestly, I think everything comes down to this weekend and how that uh, the Washington football team is going to fare against the Bucs. Uh, nobody expects them to beat the Buccaneers especially after the Buccaneers, I guess. Um, I don't even know. Were they on a bye this week? I know they lost um, their last game that I saw. Uh, but pretty much everybody feels that the Buccaneers are going to be able to have this game easily. Then again, that's what they said in the playoffs last year, and the Washington football team almost beat them. So I know different time. Um, same quarterback. Uh, we're not going to have, of course, Montez Sweat, which is really going to hurt our defensive front. Um, I think there's going to be a lot more pressure on Chase Young, obviously. But we do have some decent depth along that defensive front. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. Um, you know, John Allen and... Uh, Deron Payne, guys like that have been the ones who have been actually getting um, to the quarterback anyway. So anyway, I'll end this video uh, by saying that had we had Brian Fitzpatrick, I really feel like this team would have been at least 4-4 four and four right now and still in the thick of things. Since we don't have them, we're 2-6, and six, we're obviously in trouble, and that's just how it is. Anyway... Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.